Hello, dear subscribers, dear fans of ceramics. Today we are going to model a pomegranate sugar bowl. For this, we will need a special ceramic clay faience. Such ceramic clay can be bought in specialized stores for hobbies. If further you want your handicrafts to be fired, then only this clay will do. Or you can make it out of modeling clay. Here we go. For our modeling pomegranate we will need clay and water to wet our fingers with clay. The first thing we need to do is to form two medium-sized balls of clay. They should fit in the palm of your hand. From one piece we make the sugar bowl itself, from the second the lid for it. Set aside a small amount of clay we still need it to create parts. Clay should be soft, but not sticking to his hands. Put one ball on your palm, and with the thumb of your other hand, press in the middle of the clay lump and make a deepening, a pit. It is not necessary to pierce through this ball. Carefully use your finger to expand, press through the hole. And using your finger you pull the walls of our cup. Cup from bottom to top do not forget to wet, but not too wet with your fingers. To remove the unevenness of the cup you can tap with a wooden spatula. Roughness can be removed by tapping with a spatula from the top or remove the scraper. The same operation we do with the second clump of clay. So we have two identical bowls, and we leave them in the air to dry, wither a little, so they become sturdier, and did not lose shape. To dry, leave the cups in the air for 30 minutes without covering them. Now after our bowls have wilted, we need to trim the edge of each one evenly. That's why we put the cup on a turntable. Turning a circle, we cut the curves of the cut with a knife, and we have an even edge. This operation is necessary to do with both halves of our future sugar bowl. This was done in order to get an even edge to glue the cups into one hollow ball. Now we will join the two halves, for which we make notches on the edges of both cups. This is done for better bonding better connection. Then we dab the incisions with slurry. Glitter is liquid clay, that is clay diluted with water. Now we connect the two halves, press them well together. But do not break. Gently. We tap with a spatula, and in order not to see the seam at the joining of the halves, you need to stick there, on the seam, a strip of clay. To do this, we again put notches for better attachment. Remember we dab the slurry. Then we take a strip of clay, roll out the flagellum, 
smear it with slurry and press it well with your thumb on the joint on the place of the seam and well smear it with your finger. You can also use different tools for this, scrapers, stacks. With a spatula, again, tap with a spatula and now we have such a hollow ball. It is a hollow ball of clay and it is shaped like a pomegranate. But first, you have to make a flower or a tail on top, it will be a lid for our handcraft or sugar bowl. To make a flower on top, we again apply incisions on top, dab the slicker, 
then roll out the bundle of clay. On the harness, we also make notches and dab the slurry. Now we need our harness, our strip of clay, it is laid in a spiral. We get the tail on top. Then we smooth it out with fingers to make it smooth and even. After that you need to leave it on the table for a while, so that it dries. For the shape of a pomegranate to be preserved, it is necessary to correct it from time to time. And the process of molding the product is also necessary to correct the spatula, tapping. Now as the tail dries, it is necessary to give him the shape of a flower. And do it with a knife for pottery. Again we put our pomegranate on the turntable and give the knife the shape of a flower, trim it. We have a flower with four petals. Use your fingers to correct the shape, smooth it out, do not forget to wet your fingers in water. Now we need to make the lid of our sugar bowl. We put our pomegranate on the tourniquet. And first of all we make a line on the lid. I made a tongue on the lid so that the lid will close evenly. You can leave the tongue out if you want. Then neatly in a circle cut. You need to do it slowly and carefully so that the edges are straight. Then we can smooth out the edges with the tool. Now we leave the pomegranate, our sugar bowl, to wilt for a while, about 20 minutes. This is necessary so that the shape does not float, that is, it becomes stable. And for that, we can stuff crumpled paper in the cavity, so we leave it for a while and out in the open air we can relax for one hour. And then we'll open it up, take the paper out, and it won't lose its shape. But the final touch our pomegranate is almost ready we took out the paper from the inside, and now we need to smooth out the irregularities. You have to keep in mind that a real ripe pomegranate is uneven. It is not bad if it turns out that way for you. First of all, you should smooth the cut edges. To do this you can use a spatula or different tools. To finally smooth out the irregularities, we take a sponge soaked in water. Use it to carefully smooth out the irregularities, pits, rivets, both outside and inside. It should also be smoothed with a damp sponge.
now we need to dry the product. You can just leave it in the open air until it dries completely. Our pomegranate sugar bowl is ready. You can use it simply as a decorative one, put it on a shelf. If you want, you can paint it with acrylic paints, but it will be purely decorative. If you want to use it utilitarian, that is, for its intended purpose, it must be burned in a kiln for firing ceramics at a temperature of 1250 degrees Celsius in general, ceramic clay is fired at least 1000 degrees. If you do not want or you do not have the opportunity to buy ceramic clay, you can use polymer clay, and such a vase will be a decorative object. Send me questions, photos of your work, or links to them, I will tell you about incomprehensible moments of working with clay. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.